Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GarageTrees.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the Samsung Galaxy A5 which we have got with us. Again, Samsung Galaxy A5 is a new smartphone which has been released from Samsung. It is available right now to be bought and you can buy this phone from the market. Again, this is going to be slightly high in terms of the price but it comes with a great build quality and a very nice design which is new thing for Samsung because we have not seen metal kind of build quality on these phones which are now available so this is how the package looks like as you can see we have the phone name mentioned over there this is how the phone will look like and again we have nothing over there at the back side we have some specification which includes 4G connectivity on this phone so this phone supports 4G in India and you can use 4G on this one we have super AMOLED or AMOLED display which is again a 720p resolution which you will have on this phone which has a pixel density of 294 pixels per inch we have the full metal body and a very slim design thickness of this phone is going to be very low 6.7 millimeter which is good we have an enhanced selfie mode is filled and a retouch face and rear camera selfie is also possible on this phone which is mentioned over there we have 4g capability as you can see they are, these are the speeds which are supported we have 1.2 gigahertz quad core cpu which is snapdragon 410 chipset msn 8916 in case you want to know that we have high definition super AMOLED display over there which is 720p into 1280 we have 13 megapixel autofocus rear camera and we have 5 megapixel fixed focus front camera we do have bluetooth supported on the phone and wi-fi direct and wi-fi certification for all supported it is a dual sim phone and the connectivity is kind of different and we have the model number which is released in india this is sm hyphen a 500 g DS is actually for the dual sim so you might get a single sim as well of this particular phone uh, in some of the markets but in India they are selling the dual sim model so here we have the package contents and the first thing which we have inside is the Samsung Galaxy A5 as you can see this is how the phone look like again the phone look very light uh, look very good I would say in terms of premiumness it is uh, very premium in terms of the overall look and feel we have metal being used on the edges which does make this phone pretty good we have plastic at the back but again it is good quality plastic and the battery is actually sealed inside which is the case and again it is a unibody phone so the battery cannot come out when we talk about the front the front has the nice metallic earpiece we have the proximity and embed light sensors over there we have the front camera which is a 5 megapixel camera on this phone and again with this 5 megapixel camera you can take pretty good photos as far as front camera selfies are concerned when it comes to connectivity it will support nano sim and again you can insert a nano sim over there and you can insert a nano sim over here or you can insert a micro sd memory card so second sim card option is actually provided in such a way that when you open this tray you can either insert a micro sd memory card or you can insert another sim card so you can actually use any of these two at one single point of time we have samsung branding over there 13 megapixel autofocus camera loudspeaker and loudspeaker is a metallic mesh which is good and we have the led flash as well and at the back we have dual branding and other certification things we have on this side the power and speed key which is slightly on the middle and again this device is again in terms of display size is not bad it is 5 inch display which is an ips lcd display and again uh, not an ips lcd display sorry it is amoled display and again it is giving pretty good color production and again it does look pretty good even if you take a look at it from extreme angles you can see colors there is no discoloration there is no problem with the viewing angles on this phone and this is like on any other super amoled display phone from samsung talking about weight it is feather light i would say it is only 123 gram which does make this phone pretty special and thickness is 6.7 millimeter which is also very thin we have the volume locker over there which is a metallic button and the power and sleep key is also a metallic button so taking a look over the phone from the front side we have nice metallic earpiece proximity sensors we have front camera at the front at the bottom we have physical home button we do have touch capacitive buttons which will take you to back and this is the multitasking button this is how you can unlock the phone again touch this ui which is running on top of android is not the same ui or it does not have all the features which you normally see on premium high-end android phones this is kind of you can say uh, optimized version of touchface ui which is running responsive and i do not see any lag on this phone till now and again i have used this phone for approximately three to four days before doing this unboxing that is why the box is open and i can say that this phone can actually last for pretty long time in case you want to buy it 
considering the kind of hardware it has and other things taking over quick start guide we have the quick start guide warranty card and then we have the smart switch guide and this one should be the SAR value document so SAR values for this device is 0.250 watt per kg and this is again under permissible limit so let me just open the package and show you what all we have apart from the phone we have this charger this is a okay this is a 1.55 ampere charger uh, you can say kind of a fast charger better uh, in terms of charging and can charge the smartphone faster as compared to some other 1 ampere charger we have this cable which is the micro usb cable which can be used for data syncing and charging we have these headphones which are like in-ear headphones which we normally see on samsung phones and again they do have a mic module and also they have volume control samsung is very good into this department whatever headphones they provide the sound quality is good better than the ones which you normally see with budget android phones and again these are in-ear headphones they provide good sound quality bass levels are again not too high but the overall quality of sound coming from these headphones is going to be good talking about what else we have in the package uh, are these extra earbuds so you have extra earbuds as well which come within the package so let me just keep the package aside for a now here we have the samsung galaxy a5 this phone as we already told you is very light and on the other hand it is also kind of good to hold in one hand it does give you a very nice grip with the matte finish back over there which does have a glossy look as well but again it is matte finish so the grip of the phone is good enough taking a look over the phone dialer this is how the phone dialer look like you can easily dial the number and you can also make a seller video call on this phone which is possible directly from the phone dialer taking a look over messaging application this is how the messaging application look like and i can compose a new message when it comes to continuous type input typing it is supported on the phone but by default it is not enabled you can enable that by going to the keyboard settings you can easily type on this device the keyboard keys are small but they are easy to type with and they are nicely spaced out from each other you do get a pop-up as well of whatever key you are pressing let's take a look over the notification center this is how the notification center look like and we have all these toggles over there for the wi-fi bluetooth we do have support for automatic brightness as well and let me just go into settings and find out the version of android first of all so we have android 4.4.4 kitkat which is good and we do have support for system updates and as per the information which we have got this device will also get lollipop update from samsung when we don't know talking about application manager here we have the application manager and we will show you the current status of the ram again we have i think one yeah it is 2 gb of ram okay yeah this is something i would like to correct this is 2 gb of ram which we have on this phone and out of that approximately 862 mb of ram is free and 1 gb is being used again uh, once you take this phone out of the box you will get approximately 1.2 gb of ram free we do have support for power saving as well so you can save power on this device especially in case of critical battery times you have support for ultra power saving mode as well once you enable it you will get much higher battery backup for example, if I enable it at 8%, I will get approximately 21 hours, 48 minutes backup on this phone if I enable the ultra power saving mode, which is possible on this phone, which is good. Apart from this, if we take a look over the storage information, where is the storage information? I need to find that first of all. Yeah, over here we have the storage and 16 GB is the internal storage on this phone out of that. 4.42 GB is being taken up by the system so this is system used and use space is 1.10 GB available storage on 16 GB model will be approximately 11 GB this is slightly less because we have installed certain applications and games we do have support for SD card but again you cannot install application directly on the SD card and it is not supported on this phone we do have different kind of multiple gestures like smart alert mute pause palm to capture so you can actually capture a screenshot like this and again it is not working as of now let me just do it here yeah it is working this way actually not uh, in this particular way anyways this is how things are on this phone let's take a look over the application drawer and we will find out what the, what all applications are coming to so we get a regular set of google applications some some samsung applications are also coming to installed and then we have installed certain games and uh, uh, certain games and other application to benchmark it we will take a look over the system information on this device now we have the model number of the device which is SNA500G and we have ARM December clocked at 
2 GHz, it is a quad core CPU, Qualcomm MSM 8916, Snapdragon 410. We have display resolution which is 720 to 1280. It is not affected by touch capacitor button because they are on the body of the phone, not within the display. We have Adreno 306 GPU which is capable of playing high definition games as well. We do have support for magnetic field sensor. Accelerometer sensor is also there, orientation, proximity and light sensor is also there. So you have the basic set of sensors on the stick. Now here we have the enter to score and we have got a score of 21604 which is not certified but this is the benchmark score which you will get on this phone. Talking about the Ninamark score, let's find out. On Ninamark we have got a score of 54.7 FPS which is again a pretty decent score and this device can handle high definition games as well. We have some games like Subway Surfer and Blood and Glory. We are going to play Subway Surfer as of now. However, it can play these games and some high definition games like Mortal Kombat 5 as well can also be played on this. So here we have a YouTube video which is playing from our channel and this is a high definition video getting played at 360p. However, you can play it at 720p as well. You can play high definition videos on the phones. When it comes to wing angles, wing angles are good. I would say they are not bad at all and you can see the display from almost any angle without any issues. The loudness of the sound which comes out from the loudspeaker which is at the back side is pretty loud and there is a slight amount of bulge. So there is a slight amount of camera bulge over there which will make sure that the sound does not get blocked completely from the loudspeaker. However whenever you place it like this on a table it will get muffled to a great extent. As far as battery backup is concerned, this device has a battery of 2300 mAh which can give you around one day battery backup pretty easily without any issues. And again, this phone is pretty decent in terms of battery backup. If you play some high definition games or high definition videos, if you play, then in that case, you will not get one day of complete battery backup on this one. So that's all from us. Do let us know if you have any specific question for this device. We would love to help you. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.